we began this morning with team coverage of all that severe weather that moved through our area yesterday. Fort Stewart leaders now confirming what Jonathan just said, the mm -hmm. tornado touched down on post. That's right. The good news there is no one was hurt, but of course there's a lot of damage. And later this morning, the National Weather Service will actually be on post to look into the intensity of all that twister that what it left behind. That is Ashley Laiota is joining us live right now for a closer look at the aftermath. Ashley. Well, Nicole and Chris, many people still cleaning up after that storm touched down yesterday. Now, we told you about the tornado warnings all across our viewing area yesterday, reaching from Chatham County all the way out to Liberty County, and that's where we're going to begin here this morning. Take a look. Fort Stewart, you can still see some of the aftermath just as that storm was wrapping up yesterday. Take a look. This is near Diamond Elementary School. Roof damage, debris covered the property, and several trees even came down. The storm even flipping over cars and ripping the roof off of houses. The damage causing about 40 people on post to be displaced last night. They're waking up in hotels this morning. Some parts of the post still could be without power as people are just getting up for their morning today. And commanders say the tornado crossed about two to three miles across Fort Stewart. It looked like we had a tornado touchdown and kind of travel from west to east across the post. So it went through a uh, motor pool area across the golf course, through the housing area, clipped a little edge of the school, and then as it exited post, went through another small uh, area of a housing area, and then across Sunbury Road and took out some power lines and trees and fences and did some damage to cars and homes as it went through the area. Crews will work to clean up the area and make sure all roads are clear of de debris this morning. And last night, crews told WJCL their biggest concern was making sure any emergency vehicles could get through along with the soldiers trying to get to work this morning. And a quick note for parents out on Fort Stewart, Diamond Elementary School will be closed this morning after the storm. That's just one of four elementary schools on post. Again, the good news here, no injuries were reported during this storm or after. There is significant amount of damage, but as Jonathan mentioned, the Weather Service will be heading out there today to assess that damage. WJCL will be keeping track of that and keep you updated when we know more. For now, for now live in Chatham County, Ashley Laotis, WJCL 22 News.